What's up guys, my name is Rick and I have a match here with a guy that I had my stream uh, Well, I had the match at my stream, not the guy, well the guy was at my stream, but you know what I mean That rhymes too <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm leading with the Machamp, he's leading with a Kajando or Mian Chao And I'm gonna switch right back out to my Tangela because I don't want my Machamp to get low in HP too early um, Low HP Machamp is pretty much useless Machamp because it's so slow And uh, I definitely want to keep him high in HP for now, so uh as I said, switch right back out to my Tangela with the high amount of uh, defense and the Eviolite, I can easily take a couple hits. And he's going to go for the U-turn, switch out to this guy as I go for the Sleep Powder, put that, uh, put that to sleep, which is nice. And I'm going to go for the Elite just to get some HP back. Also have the Regeneration ability, so if I switch out and switch back in, I can get some, some, uh, some nice HP back. Now he's in his Rotom. Uh, I do know he can go for the will o -Wisp. I do resist both of his stabs though, and with the Eviolite, -like, you know, my special defense is boosted as well. And I, that, that energy ball was just so tempting, I, I just had to go for it. Uh, Rodin doesn't really have re reliable recovery move of any kind. It has pain split, but that's not really reliable, I would say. So I want that thing low on HP as well. And I think I just go for the second... No, I actually do predict kind of a switch and go for the knockoff, which is nice. Uh, I do touch his mummy guy, though, and that really sucks. I don't know if he predicted that somehow, but uh, now I don't have that regeneration ability to rely on no uh, anymore. Which is not good. And I miss my lead seed on top of that, so that is very unfortunate. And now I'm really low on HP. Kind of have to fodder out at this point. He actually switches to a Torterra on top of all of this, which is just fucking great. <laughs> I do outspeed him though, go for the knockoff, which is kind of nice, uh, but he just gets up his stealth rock knowing that I'm going to die from the burn, so uh, good play by him. And not much I can do about it, so uh, I'm going to switch into my uh, Bronzang knowing I, that I resist, uh, actually I'm immune to his ground moves and uh, resist his grass moves as well, so not really too threatened, I am just going to set up my own stealth rocks, uh, I do have the hidden power ice as well, wasn't going to go f for that straight away just because I didn't want to give it away yet. Um... And he sends in Rotom. I don't want him to get off that pain split, so I'm going to switch back to my Latias for some reason. Not really sure why. I guess because I'm faster, uh, the pain split isn't going to matter too much, and I can just hit him down uh, right after. But uh, he actually burns me, which is interesting. Uh, not sure why he went for the burn on my... Uh, on my bur well, actually, that does make sense. Never mind. Um... I'm confused. Anyway, uh, I, this is my Wish Latias, which is a pretty cool set I like to run. It's like still max speed, you know, still outspeed is a lot of things, but it has Wish and Protect, which is really nice. Uh, you know, allows me to scout a lot of moves as well as uh, heal up my fellow team members, you know, which I think I do here. Well, Bronzong is really at low HP uh, whatsoever, but uh, just want to get him in on that Torterra because, as I said before, I do have the HP Ice I can hit him with. Uh, do also have the Toxic, though, and I don't still want to go for that HP Ice because it's 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 not something I want to give away at this point. So, uh, And just in case he switches into Rotom, which he does, I'm going to go for that Toxic, like I said before, which is nice. Uh, man, Rotom is just such a pain. That thing is so beastly. Like those, It, it just has such good uh, type coverage in, in combination with you know good defenses and Will-O-Wisp on top of that, and just crazy. So, not sure why he eats ties. Oh wait, it's the washing machine. I get it now. Never mind. Uh, I make kind of a risky switch to Heatran because he might have gone for the Hydro Pump, but he had not before, so I was not really expecting him to actually get to crit uh, Volt Switch right there, which is kind of gay, but uh, but hey, that rhymes. Anyway, I switch into Arcanine. Uh, I do have the Earth Power. I am Scarfed also, and uh, you know I resist the Extreme Speed, so I should not stay in for some reason. I don't really know why I didn't switch. Uh, oh, I guess because he might have been Scarfed, and just in case an Earth Power wasn't going to kill him, you know, Arcanine does now get the close combat to hit me with. So that would not have been good, and uh, yeah, I didn't know if he, he was bulky either, so that could have been the case as well. Uh, he's going to switch back to his own Rotom as I make a double switch to mine as well, uh, which is pretty interesting. I might have actually predicted that uh, on top of the fact that, you know, Rotom walls Arcanine to the death, basically, so uh, both would have been fine. Uh, I'm going to hit him down with a T-Bolt as he actually goes for the Thunder Wave, which is crazy. That means he's like double status or something that is interesting. Um... Yeah, that have never really seen a T wave in Rodan before. I guess, may probably for a reason because it's not great, <laughs> but uh, I just don't like my stuff paralyzed. So uh, definitely not a good thing for me either. Anyway, I switched back to my my uh, my Bronzang as he for some reason goes for the hydro pump. I'm not really sure why. I mean, my Rodan had no reason to switch out at that point. So why would he not go for the Volt Switch or anything else? Uh, I don't know, but uh, may work out for him, I guess. Uh, he's going to switch back to Arcanine. I'm going to just switch just back to Rodan because I can, you know, once again, 
take anything he has, uh, does go for the close combat, kind of expecting my switch here. And it does do a lot, so he is probably banded or life orb, he is life orb, yeah. There we go. Um, I am physically defensive, I think, so I'm hoping to maybe live a second one uh, with a stealth wreck I might have been able to, but I don't, so that is too bad. And uh, I you know, get, do get the second defense drop and special defense drop on him as well as a... Uh, as some more life orb damage, and in that case, you know, Ladias is easily going to be able to outspeed, even though he does have the extreme speed. Not sure if I go for the wish here, and then follow that up by a protect, which I could have done, should have done, didn't do. So, <laughs> that's too bad. Uh, really should have done that, yeah. But, um, he just uh, dies, and I finish him off, or I finish him off, and then he dies, actually, that makes sense. Uh, people always bitch at me for saying die when, pe when Pokemon actually faint, in theory, which is uh, true, but... Um, Man, this is a serious game. I'm not going to just pretend like it's a kid's game, because it's really not. People should realize that by now. It's serious business, and uh, real men play this game. So, uh, so yeah. Here, I do go for the wish. I know I'm faster than Kajando, so... Um, so I'm, I was planning on just getting that off and then dying, so that my next Pokemon that I send in uh, is going to be able to get it. If Machamp would have gotten that, that would have been really nice, because I could have I could have both uh, hit the Kajando or anything else switching in with a dynamic punch and also... Uh, you know, healed up on the next turn, depending on if he hit me or not, uh, which would have been really good. But uh, he switched out, so I'm, I was forced to switch back to my uh, Bronzong, and here I reveal the HP ice, hoping that he would stay in. But he doesn't, he predicts the Toxic, I guess, and goes back to this guy, which makes sense as well, good play by him. Uh, he is asleep, and I know that thing has a lot of defense and not too much special defense, so I'm going to switch back to my Heatran just to go for the Fire Blast. Uh, none of his guys really on his team... Uh, are able to take a Fire Blast from, from what I've seen. I mean, Rotom is gone. Uh, Kajando is slower because I am Scarfed. Uh, but I do switch out for some reason. Not really sure why. I guess not being sure if it would have killed. Might not have, uh, I guess. Or, uh, I don't really know why. I, oh, he got a crit on the Fake Out. I probably predicted that somehow with my Psychic Powers and switched out to my, <laughs> switched out to my Bronzong. So, uh, that was a good play by me. Damn, man! I am so good at this game, sometimes. But, uh, yeah, he does go for the U-turn, just knowing that a high jump kick is not going to kill me, and a Gyroball would have obviously finished him off. Uh, he switches just back to Torterra. I get a crit Gyroball. Oh my god, that's a Zorok. I get tricked by that again. <laughs> I remember this happening on stream, actually. I was I was scared to hell right there. Like, I, I just one-hit KO to Torterra with a Gyroball. What the hell is going on? And then it was a Zorok. And just now it faked me out again, because it had been so long since I watched this battle back. Holy shit, fuck. That was crazy. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Oh, man, that is intense. I gotta calm down. Anyway, uh, Kajando uh, doesn't just doesn't quite kill me with the high jump kick, which is great. You know, Jarabal is gonna finish him off because it's just paper thin defenses. Uh, and uh, Torterra actually misses the Stone Edge, which is hilarious. I still had Heat Train left, so it did not matter whatsoever. But uh, in that case, I'm able to just go for the HP Ice, uh, finish him off in two more hits. He actually hits the second one, but that one is not gonna be able to finish me off. So that's just funny as hell so uh so yeah that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it for more content please come check out my personal channel um and i guess that's about it see you guys later peace